In this video, we're sharing some of our cleaning tips and hacks that we use to clean our RV. Most of these will apply whether you live in a house, apartment, or an RV. I think there's only one that's RV specific. So stick around to the end and hopefully you'll find something that'll help with your cleaning tasks. So first up is something that we use to clean our shower with. And we not only use it to clean it, but it actually helps protect against shower scum buildup. Yeah, we use uh, some cleaning vinegar, some Dawn dish soap, and one of these little dish scrubber brushes. Just fill it up with the cleaning vinegar, put a little bit of Dawn in there, and leave this in the shower. And when we're done showering, we just quickly scrub down the shower and it puts a protective, um, like, I don't know, coat or something yeah, on it that really yeah. helps protect against that shower scum buildup. Yeah, it seems to work really uh, good. I'll be honest, the vinegar smells a little much, but you could probably take some essential oils or something and, you know, just use yeah. your imagination. But <laughs> these brushes do come in different types. Uh, they have ones with the bristles like that. This is something that we use most often. It's really good on the glass too. Uh, and then they make uh, one of those scouring pad ones. Now, I think it's the green ones. They're a little bit more abrasive and then they have uh, blue ones that won't scratch surfaces and everything so you might want to look for those these this stuff here the cleaning vinegar can be found on grocery store shelves and everybody knows where to get this <laughs> and then these are typically in grocery stores and you know some of the the bigger kitchen type uh utensil stores or what do you call those like yeah. gadget yeah, places gadget, or something yeah and uh you know we we actually like the one that has um, a hole in it and we recommend that you get one that is um a little bit more substantial spend a little bit more than just the the two and three dollar ones because they fall apart they leak they don't hold anything and they don't have the hole yeah and we really like that because we just put one of those little suction cups on the wall of the shower hang this in there and it's there filled up ready to go every time we use the shower so yeah we definitely recommend these even though they are a little bit more expensive they seem to work a little bit better yeah it's definitely worth it for what it gives us in return <laughs> So next up is what we use to clean our shower when we do get that soap scum buildup. There's lots of different types of these cleaning erasers, the Mr. Clean, the different brands. Most of them have some sort of soap in them. So I prefer these. I find them at the $1.25 tree uh, and I they have two in a box for $1.25. You cut them in half. Um, keep one in the shower keep one by the sink and these work really really well not only can you see the soap scum as you're scrubbing it off but you can feel it and i love that being able to feel the smooth clean surface and you can tell where you've missed where you need yeah. to go back i i just love these scrubbers i noticed that a lot when susan will use these on the inside glass shower door and then i'll go to use the squeegee on the shower door when i get out and it goes whoop, like that or it might stick and one little place and that might be just a little place that we missed when we're we're using these but they're great on sinks uh, any kind of smooth service i guess for the most part and i actually use them to remove the black marks on the rv slides so you can just use your imagination but give these a try if you have something on a smooth surface i mean a lot of people use these but you know use them for other things too. Yeah. I mean, just try to yeah. use your imagination. I've found them to work on a lot of stuff. One of my very favorite cleaning items. Yeah. Next up is clinging bleach gel. This stuff works really good on shower tracks for the sliding glass doors. I've squirted it in there and let it set for a while and then come back with a toothbrush and it cleans up quite well so i really really like it for that type of thing because those shower tracks they can get kind of scummy and this yeah. is just something that you can easily let sit in there because otherwise if it's really liquid like and doesn't clean it'll just drain out of there so i found this stuff works really well for the the shower tracks uh the other thing is something that it's probably more suited for and designed for and it actually says on here toilet bowl cleaner is to actually clean the toilet bowl and you can squirt it around the top of it so it just kind of drains down and it will clean there and that's good because it uh, kills all the germs and and gets rid of all the the uh, stains and everything like that and we like it for that yeah and the secret of any cleaning product usually is to let it sit um, i tend to get impatient and want to just 
spray wipe and, and have it be clean, but um, you really want to let things sit. And with this being a clinging gel, it does cling there for a while. Um, Bernie found that the it actually also works really, really well on our RV sinks. Our sinks are like new again. I was just amazed when he tried it in the sinks. And then he was, um, I was rinsing out a brush that he had used to clean with and discovered that it cleaned my dishes. I have these, the, I think it's called Melmac. Is that what they call that kind of plastic -y plasticky dishes stuff. that I've had ever since we've had the RV. And they got really discolored and kind of dingy looking and I soaked some of this in there and boy, they just looked like new. And this stuff is, is a little more spendy. So the, we found the Clorox bleach spray also works on things like that. But yeah, what a discovery. <laughs> yeah, it was really neat to, to stumble on that because we thought they were actually pretty clean, but we, we didn't remember that they weren't off white. Yeah, they were actually they white. white. <laughs> so yeah. they, uh, it, it cleaned it pretty well. And, and this, the spray in this case uh, of just the regular bleach spray did quite well too. So. so the next tip is the one that is mostly RV specific. Yeah, it has to do with cleaning your RV toilet, more specifically the black tank. Yeah. Now, a, a lot of people that are traveling quite often RV, they might just uh, pull up to a dump station or in their uh, RV park or campground, they might just pull the, the black tank valve and then just let everything out. And, and if they're conscientious, they might even take a little bit of uh, water or some kind of jet of water, a hose or one of these sprayer um, contraptions that are supposed to get the sides and the walls of the black tank really well. Um, well, <laughs> something I used to do, I would take the tank and fill it up and then go ahead and empty it. And I could do this up to 10 times. And one time I decided I'm going to try something. So after filling the tank and emptying it 10 times with water, I went ahead and decided to to fill up five gallon buckets and pour those down because I, I had tried one of those wands and I even tried putting the garden hose down there or you know a hose that we wouldn't use uh, for anything but that. And so anyway, that it, j it just didn't seem to do what this uh, bucket method does. And, and I think that's because when you pour a bucket down the drain, you're actually getting a lot of force and a lot of gravity yeah. with the water. It's not just like <laughs> filling up the bowl and releasing it, right? Right, yeah, because that runs out very slowly, doesn't have a lot of pressure behind it. So when we're doing this, I try to lift the bucket as high as I can. It's pretty heavy, a five gallons of water is yeah. pretty heavy. So we do also have a three gallon bucket that. I just have to refill more times, but hold it as high as I can and then dump it as quickly as I can without spilling it all over the bathroom. But if you get it as high as you can and as fast as you can and get as much pressure going through there, it really seems to yeah. jar loose some of that. It does. And <laughs> and without getting too graphic, we, we could tell the difference even after what we've uh, done to clean the tank. And, and we use uh, the, the right types of chemicals and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff in that breaks down and all the enzymes and all that kind of stuff. But uh, there, there's still uh, the possibility of things building up in there. So when we use this bucket method, it tends to break that loose. So after, even after a few times of filling up the tank and letting the water out, it would run clear through the elbow. But once we started putting the buckets down, wasn't clear anymore. Yeah. And so we could see how this works. And we actually have passed this tip on to other people that have tried that and they had done their normal routine. And then they tried the buckets after they were done doing the routine and found that it did jar loose. So your mileage may vary, but it works for us. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> so our last tip or hack has to do with cleaning and defrosting the freezer. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't want to do, and maybe that's why it doesn't get done that often. Yeah, and it can really build up. Uh, most RV freezers are not self-defrosting, so this is a chore that has to be done. I've tried the blow dryer. I've tried putting the pans of hot water in there. Um, any other kind of thing I could think of. And one day I decided I'm going to just get a spray bottle and fill it with hot water 
and spray it around the top of the ice shelf that builds up in the freezer and just kind of let that sit for a little bit and it works amazing it's not instant of course it's not yeah. going to just it still spray takes and some go. work it still probably takes an hour or so to defrost it but that's much better than the two or three hours that i was spending on any other method that i tried yeah and some of that time includes the cleanup and everything because yeah. you're going to get water all over the place <laughs> so we usually have some towels ready in that but you know we we've literally got out a giant section of ice <laughs> all in one piece at, yeah. at times doing this method and it it works for us you know you should give it a try and see what you think yeah always use a plastic spatula once you get yeah. that ice away from the the surface of the freezer there and try to uh, get that get a plastic spatula back there you don't ever want to use a knife or a metal no. spatula or <laughs> anything like that but yeah this works way better than anything else i've ever come across for defrosting yeah. a freezer works good those were a few of the cleaning hacks and tips that we use. Comment and let us know what you think of them, or if you have any tips that you would like to share, we'd love to read them. And please remember to share, subscribe, and click on that little notification bell. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. So here's a quick bonus tip for you. It is cleansing tablets for water bottles and it's for these uh, stainless steel water bottles that are so popular now that everybody keeps their water cold in and we use them quite often. And these tablets, you just take one of them and drop it into the bottle with some warm water and then let it set for 15 minutes, shake it, rinse it really good and you're done. Yeah, and we have those bottled brushes that you can clean your water bottles with. But every once in a while, it's really good to use these tablets. They are antibacterial and they really deep clean the bottles, which is really important when you're using them all the time. Yeah, it's kind of like how the denture cleaning tablets do. Hint, hint. <laughs>